aircraft carrier is considered the most valuable sea-based asset and offers an incomparable military instrument with its ability to project tactical air power over long distances. Yet only few countries have them, and there are only 22 active aircraft carriers. Today, we'll present a list of all the active aircraft carriers of the world that are still in service. So let's get started. So firstly, we have the HTMS Chakri Narubet light aircraft carrier, which is Thailand's first and only aircraft carrier. It is the flagship of the Royal Thai Navy, which was commissioned in 1997. The ship is the smallest functioning aircraft carrier in the world with only 11,486 tons of displacement and has an air wing capacity of about 30 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. Up next, we have the Juan Carlos I, which is a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship aircraft carrier built for the Spanish Navy. The vessel is named in honor of Juan Carlos I, the former king of Spain. This 232-meter-long ship has a displacement of 27,000 tons, which provides accommodation for 900 marines and can carry up to 46 Leopard 2 or similar main battle tanks. Up next is the Queen Elizabeth class. It was named on 4 July 2014 in honor of Elizabeth I. She was commissioned on 7 December 2017, and the vessels described as supercarriers displace approximately 72,000 short tons. It can carry up to 1,600 men and over 40 aircraft and helicopters. It stretches up to 280 meter with a full load displacement of 72,000 tons. Next is the HMS Prince of Wales, which is the second Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carrier built for the Royal Navy. The ship was formally commissioned into the Royal Navy at a ceremony in Portsmouth on 10 December 2019. The ship can carry up to 40 F-35B Lightning II stealth multi-role fighters and Merlin helicopters for airborne early warning and anti-submarine warfare. Up next, we have the Kuznet Soft class aircraft carrier or the Project 11435, which is a class of fixed-wing aircraft carrier operated by the Russian and Chinese navies. Crew capacity of Kuznetsov is about 1,960, and this warship carries 50 aircraft, including Su-33 carrier-based air superiority fighters and Ka-27 helicopter. She is 305 meter long with a full load displacement of 57,700 tons. INS Vikramaditya, originally built as Baku and commissioned in 1987, the carrier served with the Soviet Navy and later with the Russian Navy. Later, the carrier was purchased by India on 14 June 2014, and the Prime Minister of India formally inducted INS Vikramaditya into the Indian Navy and dedicated her to the nation. It has a displacement of 45,400 tons and can carry 36 aircraft in total. Up next is the Charles de Gaulle. This aircraft carrier is a relatively modern nuclear-powered warship that was commissioned with the French Navy in 2001. Crew carrying capacity of this carrier is 1,150, and she can carry over 40 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, which include Rafael fighters, E-2C Hawkeye airborne early warning aircraft, as well as SA-365F Dolphin or AS-322 Cougar helicopters. Up next on the list, we have the Cavour light aircraft carrier that was commissioned in 2008. She was designed to combine fixed-wing vertical or short takeoff and landing aircraft air operations, command and control operations, and the transport of military or civil personnel in heavy vehicles. The vehicle can carry only 30 aircraft, which is mainly the Boeing AV-8B Harrier. Next is the Giuseppe Garibaldi, which was commissioned in 1985. This aircraft carrier is the first through-deck aviation ship ever built for the Italian Navy and the first Italian ship built to operate fixed-wing aircraft. She is equipped with short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft and helicopters and was also involved in combat air operations of Somalia, Kosovo, Afghanistan and Libya. 
Next is the Shandong Aircraft Carrier, which is a first-generation Chinese aircraft carrier that was commissioned in 2019 for the People's Liberation Army Navy. It is the country's second aircraft carrier after the completion of Liaoning and the first built domestically. It can carry with up to 44 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters and has a displacement of 70,000 tons. Next, we have the Liaoning, which is a Chinese-type 001 aircraft carrier. It is the first aircraft carrier commissioned into the People's Liberation Army Navy Surface Force. Liaoning carries a total of 40 fixed-wing aircraft and rotary-wing aircraft, which includes Shenyang J-15 fighters, Z-18F anti-submarine warfare helicopters, Z-18J airborne early warning helicopters, and Harbin Z-9C rescue helicopters. Up next, we have the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78. This is the lead ship of her class of United States Navy aircraft carriers. She was formally commissioned by President Donald Trump on 22 July 2017 and is expected to leave on her first deployment as soon as 2022 or 2024. Next, we have the USS Nimitz CVN-68, which is a supercarrier of the United States Navy and the lead ship of her class. She is one of the largest warships in the world. She was laid down, launched, and commissioned as CVAN-68 aircraft carrier attack nuclear powered, but was later redesignated as CVN-68 aircraft carrier. She has been commissioned since 1975. Next is the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower CVN-69. This is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier that was commissioned in 1977, and the ship is the second of the 10 Nimitz-class aircraft carriers currently in service. Dwight D. Eisenhower is scheduled to be eventually replaced around 2029 by the new USS Enterprise CVN-80, a Gerald R. Ford-class carrier. USS Carl Vinson CVN-70 This carrier is the United States Navy's third Nimitz-class supercarrier. Besides deployments in Operation Desert Strike, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Southern Watch, and Operation Enduring Freedom, Carl Vinson was involved in a number of notable events. The body of Osama bin Laden was buried at sea in 2011 from the deck of a Carl Vinson. Up next, we have the USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN-71. This is the fourth Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. She is named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president in the United States and a proponent of naval power. She was commissioned in 1986 and saw her first action during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. Next is the USS Abraham Lincoln CVN-72. She is the fifth Nimitz-class aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. The ship was launched on 13 February 1988 and commissioned on 11 November 1989. She is administratively responsible to Commander Naval Air Forces Pacific and operationally served as the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 9 and host to Carrier Air Wing 2 until 2012. USS George Washington CVN-73 She is a United States Navy nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the sixth carrier in the Nimitz class. She was commissioned at Naval Station Norfolk on 4 July 1992. In 2008, USS George Washington became the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to be forward deployed at Naval Base at Yokosaka, Japan. Next is the USS John C. Stennis CVN-74. This is the seventh Nimitz-class nuclear-powered supercarrier in the United States Navy, named for Senator John C. Stennis of Mississippi. She was commissioned on 9 December 1995. The mission of John C. Stennis and her air wing CVW-9 is to conduct sustained combat air operations while forward deployed. USS Harry S. Truman CVN-75 she is the 8th Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, which was commissioned on 25 July 1998. 
Beginning in 2001, this battle group participated in Operation Joint Endeavor, Operation Deny Flight, Operation Southern Watch, Operation Endearing Freedom Afghanistan, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Summer Pulse 04, and NATO Operation Met Shark. USS Ronald Reagan CVN-76 she is the ninth Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, which was commissioned on 12 July 2003. She made five deployments to the Pacific and Middle East between 2006 and 2011 while based at Naval Air Station North Island. Since 2016, she has embarked on short annual summer patrols of the Western Pacific in the United States' 7th Fleet Area of Operation. Last but not the least, we have the USS George H.W. Bush CVN-77. This is the 10th and final Nimitz-class supercarrier of the United States Navy. She was commissioned on 10th January 2009. She is named for the 41st President of the United States and former Director of Central Intelligence George H.W. Bush, who was a naval aviator during World War II. And that's it all from the buzz for today. Bye-bye.